You got him, Mike? Yep. Atta boy. You get this first one right here? Yep. You rolling? I am rolling. Heck yeah, buddy. Atta baby. I think I hit that <laughs> second one going over the ridge. Too, you did. Know? You clipped him right in the right in the back end. That's how you start the morning with a triple right there. Heck yeah. Not the morning. <laughs> we, uh, we left the house about 4 o'clock this morning. And uh, the area we were going to go hunt, we... Uh, we drove for like two and a half hours and we literally got within 10 miles of where we were going to drop in this valley and call and the road was so drifted we had to turn around and go the other way. So we took off and we drove for like four and a half hours all the way around. Figured it was going to take too long to get there so we came to try some new areas. Didn't get here until literally 8.30, 8.45 so we just started picking some spots and howling. We howled down here from the pickup truck and had some coyotes howl back at us up in this canyon. So we literally walked in and uh, made this stand. And right as we were coming around the side hill to set up, wind was blowing that way. I was trying to get around the hill to where we had that basin downwind. And right as we got right here, I looked up and I saw one of them pop up on the skyline. So we literally just sat down the best we could. Didn't take my pad off, my pack off, nothing. and. Uh, Seen them coming through that saddle. I gave two little squeals on the crack cat, and we had four of them in our laps. I think if I'd have had time to have my coaxer out, they'd have probably been a little more aggressive coming in. But uh, shotgun the first one, and then you can see the the benefits of that 204 on those dogs running out. So made a couple good running shots, and uh, let's go see what we got. Good way to start the day. Number one. That's a beautiful dog. Well, here we are, first stand in the morning. We uh, we got a little bit of a late start, headed over to the area we were gonna hunt this morning and uh, it was all drifted shut, we couldn't get in there. So we ended up spending the first couple hours of daylight moving to a new location, which uh, wasn't how we wanted to start the day, but uh, calling four in together, that uh, things are looking up, aren't they? Oh yeah. Yeah, so uh, we actually uh, you know came over to a spot we'd never hunted before. Uh, Talked to some farmers in the area, heard there were some coyotes here. So we literally were, were going down the county road, pal and locating in the daylight. And we got a pack of dogs located up in this canyon behind us. And sun was good, wind was good. So we literally located them from the truck, threw our gear on and walked in here about a quarter mile. And we were just making the final approach to where we were gonna set up. And I looked over and spotted a coyote standing on the skyline over here about 400 yards. And we were on a fairly open hill, somewhat exposed. Fortunately, the sun was at our back, and so we literally, Mike sat right down. I slid down about 10 yards below him and didn't take my pack off, nothing. Got the rifle set up on the bog pod, had the shotgun in my hands, took, uh, took a crack cat out of my pocket, and uh, you know, literally uh, made, what, one sequence, yeah. and they started coming. I gave him a little bit more. And here come four of them on the dead run, and Mike actually seen a fifth one standing over on a ridge that uh, that didn't never you know, he never came in was just standing over there. So we got a little bit messed up on the filming. This is actually the first stand Mike and I have ever called together, first time we've ever hunted together or filmed together. And uh, you know he was he was you know filming a dog standing still, 
And when they all came in, it was just kind of chaos. I shot the close one with the shotgun thinking that that would be, you know, good footage. And then I threw the shotgun down and grabbed the 204 Olympic arms. And uh, there was one big male going around the hill to the left and I shot and we're pretty certain I hit him. Um, he's around there on a, a big bare mountain with no snow. So we're gonna go spend some time and see if we can pick him up. And then I switched to this big female and she was about, oh, 195 yards just below the summit of the hill. And uh, shot and hit behind her on the first shot and then drilled her on the second shot on the run. So just goes to show you guys, um, you know, a couple things, a couple of, uh, of tips, I guess, from this stand. Number one is, you know, don't be afraid to scout during the daylight hours. If you're in an area and you don't know where the coyotes are, rather than making blind stands, spend some time howling, locate those coyotes, and then walk in and call them. It works, I promise you. And uh, second thing, these ARs are unbelievable because I would not have got two more dogs killed in that group if I was cycling a bold. I mean, that AR is unbelievable. Olympic Arms, 204 Ruger, top to the Vortex Viper, PST, shooting 40 grain Burger varmint bullets. And uh, started off on a good started note this morning. Strong, strong side. Well, I guess, uh, I best guess we better go find that other coyote and then uh, get you behind the gun. It's your turn, huh? There we go. Maybe I can keep a coyote actually on camera while you kill it. Hey, let's <laughs> see what we can do. <laughs> that, that stand right there, it was a coyote hunter's dream and a cameraman's worst nightmare yeah. to have four coyotes there and you know we couldn't talk uh we were trying to you know be quiet and uh you know having never hunted together or filmed together before we kind of knew it this filming thing but uh we just got mixed up on who was shooting what and who was filming what but hey uh i ain't complaining that was a heck no, of a stand not at all all right man we're gonna go kill some more Well, you know, in all the excitement, I just about forgot the most important part. Mike reminded me on the way back to the truck. I forgot to do the predator get down, the celebratory dance. <laughs> and you know, my wife, she says my get down sucks. So I'm hoping to see some more of you guys doing the get down and posting it on the Facebook page. Thanks for the reminder, Mike. No problem.